So and since 2003, we've actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. If you like to support us to create more content frequently, do like and subscribe today. All right. So before the 1st of August 2024 implementation of e-invoice, the government actually has came out and announced that they will be giving us a relaxation period of six months to be ready to implement e-invoice fully. So during this relaxation period, companies will be able to submit a consolidated e-invoice for all activities and transactions. In this video, we will be going to show you how we can set up your auto account so that you can generate a consolidated e-invoice during this transition period. To be able to implement this function, you would need to be running on auto account version 2.2 revision 5 onwards. So here you can check, now I'm running on version 2.2 revision 8. All right. You can actually contact your existing dealer or our team to find out on how you can get the latest auto account version. All right. To set this up, we need to come here to Tools, come here to Options, okay, come to Country and Taxes, and come here to E-Invoice. Okay, so to enable it, of course, first we must take Enable E-Invoice, then we can actually put in the implementation date. Let's say we put here as 1st of August 2024, okay, and then we would need to tick this called Allow to create consolidated e-invoice okay so as a reminder depending on your implementation date your reduction period also would vary so in this example we are implementing e-invoice on 1st of august my relaxation period will be up to 31st of january 2025 okay once we're done we just press okay so now how are we going to know that our e-invoices are consolidated consolidated or not all right so how we can do it, you can come here to invoice. So when we press edit here, you can see that it's automatically ticked as consolidated e-invoice. Okay. So let's say for example, I change my date to say 1st of February 01022025. The system will automatically untick the consolidated e-invoice function. Okay, will be automatically unticked. Alright, so this is actually how AutoCount will be able to cater for these new changes in the e-invoice implementation. Do leave in the comments below if you have any further questions regarding e-invoice. Alright, thank you.